most of us have some idea of where electricity and natural gas come from. We've seen power plants, hydropower dams, oil and gas drilling rigs, and wind turbines. We also know that when the lights come on or a burner lights up, the power and gas we know is out there has made it inside our homes and businesses to do its job. But what happens in between? How are electricity and gas delivered to our homes and businesses? And how do the energy choices we make affect how this happens? Let's start with natural gas. Gas is drilled in wells around the country and then transported through a network of pipelines to get where it needs to go. It's sent by pipeline companies to the local utilities distribution network. This is like a delivery truck getting off the interstate highway system when it's close to its destination and switching to local roads to get a package to your home. But what you may not know is no matter who has purchased the gas, your local utility or a competitive energy supplier, it's delivered over the same pipelines to your home or business. Electricity is similar but has some key differences. Unlike natural gas, which comes from the same underground sources, electricity is generated in many different ways. Natural gas plants, nuclear reactors, wind turbines, solar panels, geothermal pumps, and, and many others. No matter the source, however, the electricity itself is always the same once it's been generated. Additionally, electricity can't be stored like natural gas. If it's generated, it has to be used. After electricity is generated, it's sent over transmission lines, sometimes great distances, to get it to where it's needed. You've probably seen those big poles and wires along the side of the highway. Well, those are a part of the larger system of high-voltage wires that moves electricity throughout the country. When electricity gets closer to your home or business, its voltage is reduced by the local utility and delivered to you via local wires called the distribution network. Competitive suppliers purchase natural gas and electricity on behalf of customers in different markets, trying to balance consumption patterns and customer needs with the price of production and generation, usage differences over time, the source of the energy, and many other factors. If you choose a competitive energy supplier, it's important to remember that the energy will continue to be delivered by your utility through the same pipelines and wires the utilities use, the energy highway system. So take the first step. Start educating yourself and begin to take control of your own energy choices.